Hello guys and welcome to the fourth part and also the last part of this uh, video series where I show you how you configure Overseer. You need another container, the Overseer container. I will put a link in the description. Uh, you can deploy it the same as we did with the other two containers in the second video. So first of all, you will get this side where it says uh, the config volume mount is not configured properly. Uh, you can ignore that, that's not true. I have restarted my overseer multiple times and the config uh, was never lost. So first of all, you have to sign in with your account that you have on Plex. So when you have that, you're signed in. Here you can search uh, your local network for your uh, Plex server. It has found something, you can then select your Plex. That's my Plex. I'll support default, that's okay. Then you can save changes and continue. Then you have to integrate radar and sonar into your overseer. They can add radar server. You have to set default radar server. You can add something you want. You have to add your IP address, your port to radar. You check here what you, what you gave as port. You copy this, fill it in here get your API key, you go on your, your radar and as you can see here under settings general you find your API key, you can copy it here go back to overseer, paste it here then you can click on test then you have to set the default uh, quality profile but you can later select it if you're on the web interface so I select my German, I select my root folder Minimum availability, I select released. Um, enable automatic search, that's okay. And then you can click again, test and add server. Then you can do the exact same thing for sonar. You select default server, you select your name, your IP address. You go and search for your port. Also here, check if you have really a static port, otherwise you will always have to reconfigure the steps. Uh, you can also, under settings, general, copy your API key, paste it here. Uh, also, test connection, select your quality profile, select your root folder, language folder. You have to select depreciated. Uh, you can again test the connection, add server, and then you can finish setup. Now you will have this login page and you can select something you want to download. Maybe I want to download Squid Game. I click on request. I can select which seasons should be downloaded. Let's just download season one. I can select the quality profile. Let's just download it in 1080p. Then we can request season one. As you can see here, Squid Game requested successfully. And after some time, you will see it here in your uh, sonar and it will also scan for uh, Squid Game. So after one minute, you can see under activity queue, there are all the Squid Game episodes from the first part of Squid Game, which we selected an overseer and it will be downloaded as you can see here. Then when it's finished, it will be here on uh, completed and you can watch the series. What you can also do if you're like in a family, you can create uh, local uses for your sister, mom, dad. You don't really have to enter a real email address. You can just enter something you want and you have to enter a password and they, then they can always also use um, your overseer to download and request their own movies. And basically you then have just one interface, the overseer, where you can select the series and films you want to download. Overseal will then send the request to Sonar, to either Sonar or Radar, depends on if it's a series or a film. Sonar and Radar will automatically download the film or series and it will automatically be, be moved into your Plex and then you can watch it in Plex. So that's basically the setup for Overseer. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I try to answer them and have a good day. Bye bye.